Hello dear students, welcome to chemistry classes. In this class, we are going to discuss about uh, the chemical reactions of carboxylic acids. These carboxylic acids have a number of chemical reactions and uh, for our syllabus, the first one chemical reaction of carboxylic acids is the conversion of carboxylic acids into acid derivatives. The conversion of carboxylic acids into acid derivatives. We know the general formula for carboxylic acids is R C double bond O O H. Okay, and here. This OH group of the carboxylic acid can be replaced by either Cl or with NH2 or with OR dash or with OOCR dash. This OH group of the carboxylic acid if it is replaced by Cl, then we will get R C double bond O Cl. This is called acid chlorides. These are acid chlorides. The compounds of the carboxylic acids which are having these formula are called acid chlorides. And if it is replaced with NH2, if this OH group is replaced with NH2, then we will get R C double bond O NH2 and here we will get amides okay and if the OH group is replaced with O R dash then we will get R C double bond O O R dash these are the general formulas for esters and if it is replaced with O O C R dash then we will get R C double bond O O C double bond O R dash and these are anhydrides these are anhydrides and all these four which we are getting by the replacing of this OH with either Cl NH2 O R dash or O O C R dash are called the acid derivatives of carboxylic acids all these what we are getting after the replacement of this OH with any of these four and these four we are getting an these four are called what acid derivatives these all are derived from the carboxylic acid therefore these are called acid derivatives of carboxylic acid okay then now let me explain all these four one by one. The first one is what? The conversion of carboxylic acid into acid derivative that is the conversion of carboxylic acid into acid chlorides. See, the first one is what? Formation of acid chlorides. Formation of acid chlorides when carboxylic acids react with when carboxylic acids react with phosphorus halides like a PCL3 or PCL5 or thionyl chloride which is having the formula of SOCl2 it will give acid halides or we can write acid 
chlorides. Carboxylic acids react with phosphorus halides like PCl3 or PCl5 or thionyl chloride SOCl2 to form acid chloride. See, I am writing the general reaction between carboxylic acid COOOH and thionyl chloride. Thionyl chloride and here we will get RC double bond O Cl. This OH is now replacing with the chlorine atom and here we will get acid chloride plus SO2 which is there in gaseous form and HCl it is also there in gaseous form or we can write the reaction of carboxylic acid, carboxylic acid with phosphorus halides when carboxylic acid is treated with phosphorus pentachloride we will get C double bond O Cl acid chloride along with the formation of POCl3 which is there in liquid state liquid state and its name is phosphoryl chloride its name is what phosphoryl chloride and along with this one we are getting gaseous HCl this is also gaseous HCl SO2 is also in gaseous form or we can write when three moles of carboxylic acids are treated with a mole of phosphorus trichloride here we will get RC double bond O Cl acid chloride three moles of acid chloride plus H3PO3 which is there in solid state its name is phosphorus acid okay these are the reactions which the carboxylic acid is reacting with the phosphorus halides and thionyl chloride then coming to the particular examples for these type of reactions we can take here acetic acid acetic acid when this acetic acid is treated with thionyl chloride when this acetic acid is treated with thionyl chloride we will get ch3 co cl it is what acetyl chloride plus SO2 and HCl correct and when acetic acid is treated with a PCl5 phosphorus pentachloride we will get a CS3COCl what it is acetyl chloride acetyl chloride and along with this one we will get a POCl3 what it is it is a liquid form and it is the its name is phosphoryl chloride phosphoryl chloride and along with this one we will get a gaseous HCl and when we are treating acetic acid with phosphorus trichloride when we are treating acetic acid with phosphorus trichloride we will get a CS3COCl and here we are using three moles of an acid and therefore we are getting three moles of acid chloride and along with this one we are getting H3PO3 solid state and its name is phosphorus acid okay these are the some examples of formation of acid chlorides from carboxylic acid by reacting carboxylic acid with either phosphorus halides like PCl3 or PCl5 or thionyl chloride okay and here please write down all the names while writing reaction you should mention the name this is acetyl chloride acetyl chloride and this one is what phosphoryl chloride and this one is 
phosphorus acid okay this is the first conversion of carboxylic acid into its acid derivative that is acid chloride then the second one is what second one is formation of formation of esters formation of esters here we can write uh, carboxylic acids react with alcohols in the presence of a strong acid as a catalyst like concentrated h2so4 or concentrated hcl to form esters this reaction is called as a what esterification correct in last class we have studied this one esterification the formation of esters when carboxylic acids react with alcohol in the presence of a strong acid catalyst like concentrated h2so4 or concentrated hcl to form esters and the reaction is called what esterification we can write the general reaction for this one r c o o h r dash o h this is carboxylic acid and this one is alcohol and when we are using strong acids as a catalyst r c double bond o o r dash this is ester plus water and the reaction is reversible in nature that means when the ester is treated with water it will undergo in a reverse direction to give back the carboxylic acid and alcohol and for these type of reactions we can take examples like h c o o h it is acetic acid when it is treated with c2 h5 oh that is what ethanol in presence of concentrated h2so4 as a catalyst here we will get cs3 co o c2 h5 plus h2 and its name is ethyl acetate ethyl acetate okay. we can take another example for this one this is benzoic acid benzoic acid when it is treated with cs3 oh methanol in presence of concentrated h2so4 we will get a c6h5 coo ch3 it is what methyl benzoate plus h2o okay this is the second conversion of carboxylic acid the conversion of carboxylic acids into esters then the third one is formation of amides that is the conversion of carboxylic acids into amides by replacing the oh of carboxylic acid with nh2 okay 
and here we can write carboxylic acids react with ammonia to give salts and these salts which on heating lose a water molecule to form amines okay it is clear yes carboxylic acids when reacted with ammonia this will give first salts and these salts when heated these salts when heated they lose a water molecule to form amine see the general reaction for this one r c o o h this is carboxylic acid and when it is heated sorry treated with ammonia first it will give a salt of this type r c o o minus nh4 plus it is an ammonium salt and when this salt is heated it undergoes dehydration that is a loss of water molecule and forms r c double bond o nh2 that is a amide correct and coming to the particular examples of this type we can take ch3 cooh so it is an acetic acid when it is treated with ammonia first we will get ch3 coo minus nh4 plus ammonium acetate salt ammonium acetate when it is heated it will give water molecule and forms ch3co nh2 that is acetamide cooh plus nh3 this is what benzoic acid when benzoic acid is treated with ammonia first it will form a salt coo minus nh4 plus it is ammonium benzoate and when it is heated it undergoes dehydration and forms c6h5co nh that is benzamide benzamide okay this is a third type of conversion of carboxylic acids into its acid derivatives that is amide okay here the oh group is replacing by nh2 then the last one conversion is formation of anhydrides formation of anhydrides see when carboxylic acids heated with carboxylic acids when heated with dehydrating agents like uh, phosphorus pentoxide or concentrated h2so4 they gives acid anhydride 
by the elimination of a molecule of water and uh, see students here for the conversion of carboxylic acid into its anhydride that is the formation of anhydride we have three possibilities this is a first possibility first possibility for the formation of anhydrides from carboxylic acid when carboxylic acids are heated with dehydrating agents like p2o5 phosphorus pentoxide or concentrated h2so4 it gives acid anhydride by the loss of a molecule of water we can write the general reaction for this one rcooh this is carboxylic acid when it is heated means here we require two moles of a carboxylic acids when it is heated in presence of dehydrating agents like phosphorus pentoxide we will get r c double bond o c double bond o r this is acid anhydride with a loss of molecule of water okay we can write the examples for this one when ch3cooh acetic acid is heated acetic acid is heated with phosphorus pentoxide we will get ch3 c double bond o o c double bond o cs3 this is what acetic anhydride acetic anhydride along with the loss of water molecule and hydride acetic anhydride okay this is the first one possibility or the first one type of formation of anhydrides then the second one type of formation of anhydrides is and hydrides can also be prepared by treating salt of carboxylic acid with acid halides this is the second one type of formation of anhydrides or the second one possibility for the formation of anhydrides the anhydrides can also be prepared by treating salt of carboxylic acid with acid halides the salt of carboxylic acid with acid halides take the general reaction for this one r c double bond o o minus na plus it is a sodium salt sodium salt of carboxylic acid when it is treated with acid chloride acid chloride here we will get r c double bond o o c double bond o r dash this is acid and hydride acid and hydride along with the formation of sodium chloride here this sodium from the salt will now combine with the halide and forms sodium chloride okay take for example for example ch3 c double bond o o minus na plus correct this is a sodium acetate sodium acetate when it is treated with acetyl chloride acetyl chloride here we will get a ch3 c double bond o c sorry o c double bond o then ch3 plus nacl nacl this is what acetic 
anhydride this is the second one possibility for the formation of anhydrides then the next third one possibility for the formation of anhydrides is anhydrides can also be prepared by treating carboxylic acids with acid halides in presence of pyridine as a catalyst correct these carboxylic acids when treated with acid halides in presence of pyridine as a catalyst there we will get anhydrides of the carboxylic acids see this is acid chloride and this is a carboxylic acid when carboxylic acid is treated with acid chloride in presence of pyridine as a catalyst here we will get r c double bond o o c double bond o r dash plus hcl this hydrogen and this chlorine will form hcl and here we will get acid anhydride okay take for example for example cs3 c double bond o oh acetic acid when it is treated with cl c double bond o ch3 acetyl chloride when it is treated with acetyl chloride in presence of pyridine here we will get a ch3 c double bond o o c double bond o ch3 this is acetic anhydride and here we will get a hcl okay these are the three possibilities for the formation of anhydrides anhydrides can be prepared from the carboxylic acids by any of these three possible methods okay now take assignment questions assignment questions How do you convert carboxylic acids into amides? Give an example. This is an assignment question number one. How do you convert carboxylic acids into amides? Give an example. Then the second one assignment question is how do you convert carboxylic acids into acid chlorides? Give example okay these are the two assignment questions please watch the video carefully and after that please write these two correctly how do you convert carboxylic acids into amides and how do you convert carboxylic acids into acid chlorides give an example along with example please explain and these two are for two mark only two mark questions these two are okay Thank you.